All right, so here's the thing. This uh, Freejic unit over here had stopped working for about an entire day. Seems to be working for the moment, but this morning it also glitched for a second. The screen said AP, and then I pressed like temperature up or down and it went away. But even yesterday, a couple of times, it had um, the display had kind of started glitching or it start flashing and just doing weird stuff uh, like keep shutting on and off but the other day was the worst it wouldn't even turn on for about at least half the day if not almost the whole day and when it would turn on it would go on off on off on off the display would act like it's having a damn seizure and the whole day long I had been contacting customer support to uh, Friedrich on the phone and they kept telling me, oh, um, we see there's no technician in your area that's uh, a Friedrich approved technician that can come out. So you have to find your own local technician. And I called, uh, what was it, like 10 different places? Even an hour away from where I live. I even called appliance repair centers. None of them work on Friedrich. And I, I told them. I was like, look, nobody in my area works on Friedrich. They're like, oh, well, that's our policy. Someone has to diagnose it first. And the other thing is they had told me that um, when they do diagnose what's wrong, that they would only cover up to $75 in repairs. Well, first off, it costs anywhere from like $70 to $90 to have an AC technician come out to my house where I live. Um, number two, how are you going to diagnose it when it won't turn on? And number three, Friedrich says, you know, whatever replacement parts it needs, they would send out to the technician. So you're telling me I'm going to be without an air conditioner for several weeks while I'm waiting for shipping and all that stuff? I mean, it's just ridiculous. There's other companies out there like Home Labs. They've already sent me two free replacement dehumidifiers under my warranty. And a dehumidifier and a small air conditioner are the same thing. But Friedrich keeps telling me, oh, we can't send you a replacement. We can only uh, fix it, but we can't even fix it without a diagnosis. So, I mean, it's ridiculous. They do not stand behind their product. I've even asked to speak to supervisor. The supervisor's no help. I asked them, how am I supposed to get a diagnosis when no one in my area will even work on it? Their answer is, I don't know. What kind of answer is that to a customer? They have the worst customer service. And then finally they said, oh, well, we'll have you email back and forth our supervisor and he'll help you through email. So I emailed the guy and it was the same as when I'm on the phone. They refused to help me without, <clears throat> excuse me, without a diagnosis. And I email him and I asked that question, how do I get a diagnosis? All the AC technicians, all the appliance repair centers within like I don't know if it's a 60 or 90 mile radius and an hour or more from where I live and everywhere in between I said how am I supposed to get somebody out here when nobody out here services window air conditioners and they now got to the point where they even refused to answer my emails they just stopped answering my emails so they refused to help me out as a customer under a five-year warranty when this unit is only one year old Luckily, it's working today, but I'm pretty sure that any day now it's going to stop working again because it, it's just been on and off, back and forth, where it keeps glitching out and not wanting to work properly. So I'm like, any day now it's going to stop completely. And there's also been other people online that have told me that it stops working after a year. Um, so the moral of the story is, not only is the Friedrich the worst brand of AC for reasons that I've mentioned before in other videos because they don't control moisture well the thermostat is the worst thermostat I've ever experienced in my life you set it at 70 degrees it'll keep your room anywhere from like 75 to 65 and, in, and everywhere in between it's very random where it keeps the temperature it's not consistent at all it's not a very accurate thermostat whatsoever and then um, the app on your phone never wants to work properly um, 
I mean, there's just so many flaws with this. It's also the most expensive brand of window air conditioner out there. And then the worst thing at all, the worst thing that I can say is the warranty and customer service. I mean, at least if it goes bad in a year, I mean, at least if they sent you free replacements and they, you know, they, 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 uh, at least if they stood by their product and gave good customer service, then I would say, well, at least Friedrich's not a terrible company. But I mean, they make junk, and on top of that, they don't support their junk, and they don't support their customers. I mean, that is the worst possible combination of any product and company. So for that reason, Friedrich is, to me, the number one worst brand of window air conditioners. And as I've said many times before, LG is still the number one best brand of window air conditioners. And so that's what I'm going to switch back to here in a couple weeks or so, or so. As soon as I get the chance, I'm going to switch back to LG. I've had so many of their window air conditioners. I've never experienced their customer service and warranty, but that's because I've never had to. Because their window air conditioners never have problems. They work like they're supposed to. They pull out moisture. The thermostats are accurate. They never break. They last many, many years. So, anyways, avoid Friedrich at all costs and only get LG window air conditioners.